Good morning. Today we are going to learn how to export a model to Torque DTS format. You will notice that I've upgraded to version 1.8.1b. Uh, in this version a couple of bugs have been fixed and if you have not upgraded yet I recommend that you do so. This is a model of a swallowtail caterpillar that I drew. Uh, it's a fairly simple model, yet it still has enough vertices that it can be animated at a later date. So to export this model, now that it's all complete and created, we will open on File and Export, and we will scroll down the line here. There are two Torque DTS format exporters. The top one is the Simple Exporter, and the second one on the list there is a DTS Plus. For many purposes, this simple exporter works just fine. You can do it with a collision mesh or without. Uh, it defaults to no collision mesh and export animation. This model is not animated, so we're not going to export animation. If we want a bounding box, uh, that means that when another player in the world uh, runs up next to the model, they'll, they'll actually hit it and not be able to walk through it. Um, this is a really small model though, we don't need a collision mesh on it, so I'm going to put it to none. You can also do a cylinder. The box of course does a box, a rectangular box, and the cylinder will do just as it says, a cylinder, and you can make it as complex or not as you want. But we're going to say no today. And then we do want to export the material information. That means it will save the material file names so when you load it into the game it knows what textures to use to decorate your model with. And we click OK. Then we save the file name. We will call this Caterpillar simple export and you just click save and it's done. It's really that easy. Uh, if we want to use some of the more advanced options do the same thing again. Click export then we'll select Torque DTS Plus and here we have a few more things we can do here. Um, this shows us what the name of our texture is. This shows that we have two groups. One is the it's just called cylinder um, because I made this model just using a series of cylinders and expanding them and moving them around and a bounding box so we don't want to click on the create bounds because I've already created a bounding box for it and we're not going to do any of the special features that are available here um, although there are many available and we just click export DTS and we do the same thing Caterpillar DTS Plus and we'll click Save and it's done. That's all there is to it. You can see on the export list here there are many formats in which a person could export their model to. Half-Life, Quake, Genesis, Unreal, 3D, Sirius Sam, Max Payne, The Sims, Game Studio, uh, Wavefront Object is a very common one. We often use Milkshape to uh, create a model, then we'll export it to OBJ format so that somebody else can load it into a program such as Maya or 3ds Max and they will uh, do animation with it in that other program. And so OBJ is a good format to use. And the other one is Autodesk 3DS. Uh, many programs recognize 3DS. Blender um, is the other common one that we use on our team. Uh, we'll use 3DS and it will also use OBJ format. So both of those are good. The difference between 3DS and OBJ is 3DS will save animations. OBJ will not save animations. So if you have an animated model, and you want to try and use 3DS or some other animated format. Um, I believe .x saves the formats. 
Um, anyway, there's there's a huge list here, and I don't really need to read them all off for you. You can see them for yourself in your own program. It's a very useful program. It probably has more exporters than any other single um, 3D software that I've ever used, and I really like Milkshape. I hope you like it too, and that this tutorial is helpful to you.